everybody. This is the Mech Egg by Yeezu Manufacturing. At least I believe it's Yeezu. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by this. This is entirely die cast. It is a slider, five clicks both directions. And uh, we're going to take it apart, talk about it, compare it to a few things. Uh, you'll be surprised, hopefully as surprised as I was, uh, with what we find. Please stick around. So yeah, die casting sometimes turns me off really bad. But uh, in this case, I'm like I said, I'm pleasantly surprised. I paid too much for this because I bought one as soon as they came out and I went to the only store I could find one at. It was about $25, but uh, they've already gone down half that price now. So if you search uh, for this term, I always give the term instead of a, a link or the name of the store because sometimes the links change or go bad and AliExpress is not very trustworthy and sometimes the stores aren't very trustworthy either. So I just give you a search term that works now couple years from now that search term is not going to work for you but uh, at least for now you can find it that way um, so yeah for half the price of that say these are about $12 now and they're available in these three different colors um, I am tempted to buy all three um, out of the box it didn't run as smoothly as it is now and that, to be honest with you, I was, I was a little upset with it out of the box, kind of, because I knew what to expect. I knew it was cheap. I knew it was going to be die cast. This is another example of where the advertising photos show you a rendering where everything is smooth and pretty. And actually, <clears throat> in the exterior, this is very accurate. They did a very nice job. But as soon as you crack it open and look at it, you'll see that it's die cast. Um, either way, it's working like a charm. It did come with tape on it. That was a bit of a surprise. Um, I think that is actually what took a little bit of time to wear in because it felt very stiff at first. I could not get good distinct clicks. And now it works great. Um, this is the bottom. I would call this the bottom. That's because the the friction plate is screwed to the bottom and that makes it heavier in the hand. It just wants to lay that way. And of course the branding is on top. You can hold it the other way if you want, just like anything else. Uh, but I tend to think that this is the bottom. I don't know why I always feel the need to point that out, but I do. Um, yeah, like I said, I am tempted to buy the other, the other three, the other two, the yellow and the blue one, uh, just because they'll be 12 bucks a piece and I'll have a couple that match. Uh, out of the box though, it was very stiff and at first I was thinking, well, this wasn't really going to work out. It's not going to go for it. It's just, it's just I, I knew I got what I paid for. But then it always pays to play with things for a while and wear them in a little bit. You know, it could be these detents. Um, maybe they needed to wear a little, a little bit. Uh, maybe that tape needed to wear in a little bit. But. Uh, it's running smooth as silk. Now, it did not come with any extra parts. There's two balls. We'll take it apart in a second. You'll see there's two springs and two balls uh, which run on these two tracks of detents. And then everything's held together by a system that runs in this channel in the middle. And that channel and that hollowness actually uh, contributes, I think, to the nice hand cup pop that we all love and adore. Um, so we'll take it apart here in a second. But I think, yeah, I think that's about where I stand with this. Um, very pleasantly surprised in the quality, die casting or not. And then uh, again, when we continue to take it apart, you'll see that it's 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 not that bad on the inside either. You know, there's die castings can go cheap. And they can, you know, cut way too many corners, or they can pull it off. And I think they pulled it off on this one. So. Okay, let's do some comparisons. We'll get out the usuals here. The Mackie CP3. I like the fact that this is not completely round. I thought it was going to be a lot more round, and it is a bit more like a hamburger shape, so to speak.
Oops. Wow, I'm not good with that in my left hand. Okay, then we've got the top D by Metal Toys DZ, top B. This is a little bit taller. That's the ZZ plate in this one. Okay. Uh, the only other two things I had, at least, that you might have to compare it in shape, um, size-wise and everything that I thought would be really fitting, would be my chill pills. So I've got the uh, chill pill with the extra dose. The extra dose makes it a little bit longer. But uh, we'll take that extra dose off of there. And you'll get a better idea. That's pretty close in size. And then we have the uh, chill pill max, which is a little bit bigger in diameter overall. Probably a little bit higher, taller as well. But yeah, I am. I'm quite pleased with this. Did I mention yet that there was tape on there? Again, I don't believe they showed that in any of the videos, but that's typical, I guess. At this price range, again, considering I got mine for $25 and that you can get them for about $12 now, I'm not even going to let that bother me. So this is pretty pretty intense for me. You know, I used to be so anti-tape and God forbid anything even be sold with tape on it because that admits there's a problem with it. Um, but, you know, it makes it work. I'm sure without the tape it would probably be a little stickier. Um, I'm going to leave it on there. What the hell. Um, the other thing would be, like I said, die casting. I was dead against die casting almost under any circumstance. But I've seen it be used uh, in ways that make things affordable for the rest of us um, and that aren't so bad. So let's go ahead and move on to, you know what we'll do yet? Let's measure it, weigh it. Almost forgot about that. So we're at 42, 41 millimeters tall. In this thickness, it's about 20 millimeters. In this thickness or width, we're about 22, 23. When it's fully extended, we are at about 55. So, there are no magnets inside of here to interfere with the scale. 59, I'm sure that each one weighs exactly the same because the only thing different about them would be the paint coating on them. Oops, turn that off. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take it apart. Okay, so let's take it apart. I have here a T6, although it did come with an Allen wrench. That's the only extra part that it came with, or tool. Uh, this is not an Allen wrench, but a T6 will fit. So we'll just pop out these four set screws. Now is the point where you want to hold everything together, although there's not a lot of tension in here. It's not like you're going to lose an eye. Okay, there's all four screws out. And then we're just going to, let's see. I'm going to lift it off this way. so I did it upside down, um, which doesn't matter. But there's the spring, there's a spring. Take those out. Now I can empty the balls out. There's two steel balls. Then you have this middle plate that slides back and forth. Get up here where you can see it. Make sure it's in focus. There you can clearly see how that's die cast. 
still most of the ugly finishes are hidden on the inside, so not really an issue. Let's measure those balls while we have them out here. What did I do? They're here, they are. My good old untrustworthy Harbor Freight digital calipers. That's as close as we're gonna get. Okay, about 2.88, probably 2.87. Roughly three millimeter balls, what I imagine them to be. But let's go ahead and get this metal piece taken out. So for this middle piece right here, I found a uh, 3 32nd bit seemed to fit fairly well. It's a little bit loose, but it'll do the job. This was pretty tight, so I don't know if they used... That's really tight. Now I'm afraid I'm going to strip it if I don't have the right size bit in there. There's a little bit too much slack. Give me one second. I want to make sure I've got the right size bit. Okay, I went out and looked and I found a metric 2.5 happens to be exactly the right size for that. So let's go ahead and switch these out. Get that one out of the picture. I don't want to ruin it. They probably Loctited it. Okay, it's coming loose. Very slowly, it's getting looser. I'll bet there's Loctite on there. Okay, we have separation. So, here is the piece. And I detect what looks like maybe a small amount of glue. Yeah, I don't think the screw wants to come out of there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so there's a little bit of there's a little bit of glue on there. But you shouldn't need to take that apart anyhow. Then we have another little die cast piece here, the uh, carriage, you might call it. And here is what the carriage screws into. So that's it. Let's go ahead, put her all back together. So if you wanted to, it'd be easy to get uh, the magnetic. <laughs> you could get different size balls to play with there. Uh, not, not different size, uh, different material balls to play with. And uh, well, the springs are probably pretty good the way they are. We'll just put this all back together the way it should go. This will drop right down in here. should slide freely back and forth, which it does. That should line up with the middle. And you got your screw. Okay. I'm just going to snug that down. And that's good. It didn't tighten. No, it did tighten up. That's not good. So there's a reason they put Loctite on there is because they tightened it down to just the right height that it did not cause any interference. So I'm just gonna back that off just a little bit. Now it should slide free. And I'm actually gonna rely on the remaining Loctite that's in there to hold that screw probably fairly steady. Um, if it comes loose again, I'll go back in and fix it with actual Loctite. But um, my advice would be, don't take that apart. Leave it, go ahead and leave it the way it is. They've Loctited it. As long as everything's running smooth, there's no reason to adjust it. So now it's just a matter of putting the springs back in. Well, actually, uh, we're upside down, so the balls need to go in first. And then the springs. Get on there. All right. And then, see, die cast. Right here, these two little marks here are ejection pins. So whenever this came out of the mold, those two little pins popped it out of that side of the mold if it was stuck. Then they probably came back in with a, uh, a tap and 
tap these four holes for the screws. So we can put it all back together again now. And then slide it off to the side. You know what we didn't get a good look at while we had it apart was that tape. Let's just do that quickly because I myself have not seen exactly how they placed the tape on there. Oh, there's holes in it. Okay. So there has to be holes in it for the springs to be able to travel through. I thought maybe they put just a tiny patch here and a tiny patch there. But, uh, interesting. Okay. So, back to it. It's easy. Easy, easy, easy. We'll just pick up where we left off. Snug it down, it's going to be too tight again. Too tight. So I'm just going to back it off just a little bit. It still feels snug because there's that Loctite glue is still on the threads, but now it's nice and easy. So we'll leave it like that. We'll drop the balls down into the holes, put the springs in behind the balls, and put the lid back on. Hold everything together, slide it apart. Now we need to switch the bits back to the T6 is what I said would work. Again, don't go cranking them down. This is die cast material. It's not meant to take a lot of torque. Make sure your threads are lined up nice and everything should be just fine. the last screw. Okay. So, final thoughts. I like it. I think it's worthwhile for about $12. I don't think you're wasting your money. Remember that out of the box it's going to be a little stiff and it's going to take a little time to wear in. And uh, then you get five clicks either direction. Not very loud. Mine, it feels a little looser actually right now. I think because I loosened that screw up, I may go in and fine tune that and maybe even put some Loctite on it. So yeah, my advice would be leave that internal screw alone as long as you're happy with it. But uh, heck yeah, why not? There it is folks, the mechanical egg. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.